What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Bassy Accurate TV. Before we get started, I just want to apologize for taking so long to get these next couple videos out. Trent's boat broke down, Patton's been busy with work, and I've been out for the past three weeks with a kidney stone and a couple surgeries to go with it, so needless to say, we've had a little bit of a struggle going on here. But, we're over it, we're back on track, and we're going to get started with Trent and his buddy Casey out fishing in Michigan and putting the hammer down on some bass. So stay tuned. Had me buried in the weed. Nope. Okay, so it's your turn for two. My turn for one. No. Because I caught up to you with the crappie. Huge bass. Get back over here. Get in here. Yeah, baby. Ah. That's what I'm talking about. On the hammer worm, right off the end of the point. Well, I don't know if I've ever thrown this here either. You knew you wanted to throw a jerk bait, right? I did, but. Not the super secret big fish. Thank you. Okay, so I'm up three. I know. It also catches a ton of pike. Halfway decent. It's big. I think it's a pike. It is. I told you it catches a lot of pike too because I can swim it like a bluegill. So guys, as you can see, Trent's camera died there before he was able to land that pike, which unfortunately happens in this business every now and then, but him and Casey had a great day on the water, and I'm sure they had a blast. Uh, now coming up next is something that I've personally tried and waited for years to have happen, and we finally got it done, and it happened on camera, which was unbelievable. So, backstory to it. You guys know that Mike Patton and I are best friends. We have been best friends since first grade which puts it roughly 20 years now that we've known each other and that kid is like a brother to me he's been there for every up and down in my life and he's always been by my side and I couldn't ask for anything more uh, he started fishing with me when we were 14 and in that time span he's watched me catch my 40 inch muskie which I haven't caught another one since 
uh, he watched me catch my six pound two ounce largemouth. He watched me catch the six pound six ounce largemouth, which actually, if you guys go all the way back to the beginning of Bassy Ackard's TV, it was the first teaser episode we ever put up. Uh, he's been there for some of the most amazing moments in my life. But the one thing that we always kind of struggled for was to get him on a big Ohio bass as well, too. Actually, if you guys remember, he just caught some giants in New York, but Ohio's different. It's a lot harder to fish this state. And we just we struggled to get it done. But we finally did it. I should say you did it, Mike. You finally got it done. And here it is, Mike's first big Ohio bass. when you catch that giant fish nothing compares to it good job Mike I'm so proud of you finally being able to get it done and it wouldn't be a typical Bass Yakwards video if I didn't do something stupid and yet still manage to catch a fish as you can see here I'm using one. What are you catching on? <laughs> My skipping jig, but I I backlash the hell out of it. Oh well, guys, this year has just been one for the record books. Between all of the highs and the lows and the miles that we've logged, the places that we've been to, the fish that we've caught, and then stuff like this on top of it, getting Mike his first Ohio big bass. Uh, this year's just been awesome. It really has. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And go check out my nephew who's starting out his own little channel called Kid Gone Fishing. Please give him a look. He's going to be doing some really cool things. So thank you guys very much, and you guys have a good one. Get one, Mikey? Yep. Dude, it's a big one. 